it's Dear Natural 62. Happy Halloween! I just wanted to get that out the way. But anyway, recap! Check out my fall ombre nails looks. Um, I did several different looks and I showed you how to do one of them from start to finish. Definitely check that out. Tell me what is your favorite ombre fall color and leave that in that video. Now, so let's get started. It's Halloween coming up. So this is going to be my water marble shout out part two and it's geared towards Halloween. As you can see, I've already taped my fingers. I do have a video on that, so definitely check that out. So let's get started. My first color combo comes from a YouTuber. Her name is Carly Donut TV. I'll add everyone's name down below just to make life easier. And of course, I'll answer some popular questions that I always get. The number one popular question is, what temperature is the water? Now, let me let you know, this is no fancy water. It is regular tap water, and it is at room temperature. And for those that don't know, room temperature just means that I let this water sit out for about an hour or two. That's all. Um, next question that I get a lot is, my colors don't spread. Well, definitely what I try to do, I try to start my bullseye in the center of the water to give it room to spread. That's one thing. Two, if I notice it's not spreading, I'll give my glass a tap or two. But some people said that didn't work for them. Another thing you can do is if you take your polish that's on, the, on your table, your desk or whatever, you tap down, it'll vibrate. The water will vibrate and help your colors expand too. But definitely remember, you can't use old nail polish to do this. Like your nail polish can't be thick. It has to be more on the liquefied side. There you have it. I may at the end add some embellishments to all my designs. We'll see. So let's stay tuned and let's keep moving on. Thank you, Carly Donut TV. My next color combo is coming from a YouTuber and an Instagrammer. The YouTuber's name is Miss Cupcake is the nickname. Very long name. I'll make sure I write down that down below. And my other follower, which is an Instagram follower, her name is Kate We See 12. They wanted to see yellow, orange, and black. Again, very Halloween. Don't forget at the end to let me know which finger you absolutely loved, which color combo. Also let me know if you'd like to see more Halloween water marbles because trust me I have a lot in store and I have a treat I am gonna do these um, cotton candy nails for you that look like fur oh I can't wait for that that's gonna be a treat came out cute thank you cupcake is the nickname and thank you Kate we see 12 I'll be right back my next color combo came from a Twitter follower her name is Chloe Miller but her Twitter handler is see what knots here and I'll write all of this down below for everyone she wanted to see a green, purple, and black color combo. 
Now definitely let me know if you want to see more Halloween looks. You know I'm up for it, so <laughs> definitely let me know. And let me know what you think those color combos should be if I haven't done them in this video. Definitely tell me if you like your design that I chose, Chloe Miller. Actually, for everyone that I've chosen, definitely let me know if you've liked your color combo and how they came out. So stay tuned because I still may do something extra to them. We'll see. My next look came from a Twitter follower and an Instagram follower. The Twitter follower's name is Liz Taylor, comma, Esquire, and her handler is Real Liz Taylor. How can you not like that name? You know, especially with Elizabeth Taylor. So, <laughs> and my Instagram follower, her name is Halloween underscore cutie. And that's just so cute. <laughs> cute name, I love it. I love fun and catchy names. Thank you ladies. You know what I usually say, there is no wrong way and no right way of doing water marble. It's what you come up with, have fun with it, it's nail polish, you know, don't let it get the best of you. Anyone can do this and if you fail, just try again. It does take a little bit of practice but once you get the hang of it, just imagine all the different looks you can create. It's endless. So I'll be right back. Next color combo came from a Facebook fan page followed by the name of Jennifer H. She wanted to see a classic black and white. So you know what, let's make this work. <laughs> you can't get any more Halloween than black and white. <laughs> Definitely let me know if you're dressing up for Halloween, what your costume's going to be. If you're under the age of 18 and you're going trick-or-treating, let me know what your costume's going to be. I always love to hear it. If you're over 18 and you're going to a Halloween party or you're going to um, have a Halloween party, i definitely like to know. I love to hear the ideas, the different ideas. Because I usually get dressed up. I'm not even going to lie because since I have parties and go to parties, I usually get dressed up. And I usually make up costumes too. Um, last year, I think I was a, a Halloween underground schoolgirl. Graveyard schoolgirl. With like the white tutu, the black makeup everything and of course you know I had a headpiece on with lace coming towards my face I loved it so definitely share your looks with me your Halloween looks with me I'd love to know what you're going to be for Halloween
you Jennifer H from my Facebook fan page. Now here comes the cool part. I'm going to be doing different things to them. So there's nothing wrong with adding a little something something on the end. So you have your looks. Take a last look. Now let's upgrade our looks even more. I'll be right back. So this is everyone's final look. I hope everyone loves it. Thank you for giving, thank you for sharing the color combos that you would like. Now we're just gonna accentuate them just a little bit more, okay? So for instance, right about here, since we have this big gap, let's add some dots in there. Now they look like their eyes peeking from the spider web. I just thought that would be cute. Okay, let's keep going. And to make eyes, all you do is you start with your larger end of your dotting tool, which was this one, and I made the black. And then I just went from a smaller with the white and an even smaller with the black again. And then it's just layering on top of one another to get that look. I'm gonna add a clear top coat on top of everything once I'm done. So let us see. We can add some pretty dots in here. Now, just so you know, I got my dotting tools from eBay, Amazon.com, also from Michaels. I also have a video, video number 74 shows you how to make your own dotting tools on different sizes too. Now when making dots, just a tip, if you go lightly, the dot will be tiny. The more you press on it, the bigger the dot will get. So you can start out whichever way you'd like. Um, I tend to sometimes start lighter because then I can add pressure to increase the size of my dot, depending on the look that I'm trying to create. So you see how you can accentuate your water marbles? You don't have to just stop at just the water marble. You can add extra things to them to make them even cuter. Okay now, so I'm gonna go add my top coat and I'll be right back. So there you have it. Definitely tell me which finger that you absolutely love. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're a subscriber, you do know that I have a giveaway going on right now. So definitely check that out. I hope you enter. So happy Halloween. So it's Dear Natural 62. Take care. Bye-bye.